Dear viewers, welcome to our project based tutorial in Autodesk Inventor. I hope that you are all safe and healthy. In today's lesson, we are going to model a wine glass as shown. And here it is. I'll rotate it a little bit for your view. And this is the project. Well, let me close it and then straight away go to our project. Before you start a new pro project in Autodesk Inventor, I always encourage or advise to follow a few steps. One is on how to set up the template. The template setup is very important as it gives you the option to select the unit of measurement which you could get it under file option and file where you configure into your preferred units of measurements or dimensions in this case I've selected millimeters and ISO click OK and you will you can override that one and then that's it you can always close but before I close it you can see that there are quite a number of things as we get to advance you'll get to understand how you can retrieve dimensions and manner, among other things assemblies and also the features and properties well the second uh, thing to consider is the project location which is found under projects uh, for each and every project that you do usually it's when you're going to save it just give you the direct path and uh, here as you can see my last project was saved under a design acceleration but you can always create your own new one uh, under the vault if it's a single project let's say for this in case give the project name and also change the day. let me call it my wine glass and I'm gonna save it in a different folder uh, okay I think I'm I'm good with that and I also created a new folder on that one call it stay upload and here we are I've finished and I've saved the directory which I'm gonna save my files or the project itself and lastly is the appearance library and the material libraries under this you can always select i prefer to select auto disk you right click and activate it and also under the material library select auto disk material library and activate it and click done okay and after that now you can create your new file by selecting now the metric standard dot ipt and create your new drawing file here it starts okay upon creation of a new uh, part file as you can see it's part number 46 usually Autodesk activates all tools and commands that you're going to use at your disposal all these there are various various very many under the ribbons as you can see if you click on each and every ribbon there tools and, and commands for your use now let's start our wine glass project by clicking 2d sketch these are planes uh, you gonna consider in this case x y plane drag and, and position by using the wheel of the mouse and we'll start our drawing I'll start by using a center line from the base the point of origin let me zoom it out I think that's okay now and I'll change it into a construction line here we go I'll proceed the base let me in zoom to increase clarity Here we go. And use an arc. Went back to finish. Now this is a beautiful thing with auto risk inventor because you got to draw a drawing and then dimension later. Now I'll consider this base and give it a 
75 millimeters okay this this angular mm, 22 is okay my 10 millimeters this length beautiful uh, 70 okay there is this length also from there to that point and to increase it to 105 millimeters how many more to go for more dimensions well is this angle here which is inclined I'll give it a uh, 212 I think uh, it will increase and okay yes this at 160 Let's close and finally this I need to a little bit reduce the volume 200 is okay great now you can see i've completed dimensioning ah one dimension one dimension what am i missing the base one dimension is remaining ah here here it is i got you so it's supposed to be from here up to here it's a uh, 50. now it's fully constrained it Constraint it means if I get to click anywhere and I drag it, so the dimension I can drag, but not the drawing. It cannot move. You can't move anything at all, at all, at all. Now, let's uh, finish our drawing. Oh, this way it knocks me sometimes, but uh, uh, the beautiful thing is that you can use F6 to bring it back to the original position and also F5 to take it back to. The previous one toggle in between that one or you can use the view cube there with a number of tools at your disposal uh straight away we're gonna revolve this uh, to make it a, a circular uh, uh feature uh our revolve tool is over there click it and select along the axis 360 degrees and we have completed our basic sketch and basic 3d model now we'll now Let me rotate it that way and position it that way for our view. It's solid. Now I'm gonna next step is to filter it. these edges, they're sharp, and we give them a shape and appearance, a good one. Well, here we go straight away. Let me start with the uh, that part and I'll also select the base, but I'll change this one to 0 0.8, but they may be small. Well, let me change them to smooth and I'll also go to another one a lot this one and that one I'll change the radius to ooh, let me say 12 it's okay it's good and uh, I will also add another one this base of the glass I need to change it to also 20 and uh, I'll select and make it also uh, the beautiful thing is that you don't have to select each and every fillet click and uh, close and go back again you can add as many as possible and then you apply the changes at once we have finished modeling it by filleting it uh, now we need to we need to scoop out this part and give it a uh, the service that it requires by using the tool known as uh shelling okay here we go We're gonna shell it I select that and also I rotate it in a pan because I need to share also the base is thick and solid and I'll also oh, select this part the diameter I'll give it a, a thickness of zero one millimeter is okay it's good for me if I rotate 
it we are good to go we are good to go we have now our service oh unfortunately th there is a hole through the stock up to the bottom base as you can see here is the hole le le this is the hole i need to fill that hole by patching it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the patch tool it come to this base select it and i'll change into potential condition and i'll apply and i'll also rotate it because it's going through the base up to the top and i'll rotate again zoom it zoom it properly for our view and I'll again i select this part and i'll also change to potential condition and i'll apply the changes and done now i've patched it but unfortunately it's no field it's, it's that i patched it created a service temporal service but i need to fill in that gap so that it can be solid now i'll use a scoop to to fill in the gap in order to do that i don't need to go back uh, in selecting this one and the other one I'll, on the left part of the panel where we have our browser here you can select by pressing the key shift down select the first and also the second one here we have completed patching and also sculpting the if uh, the, uh, the hollow part in between the base and this and the, the the base of the glass and also the stock that's it here we go click ok and immediately Voila, here we have our glass now. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. It's well filleted. It has been patched and we no longer have the hole that we are seeing through the base. There it is. Good. Now, we need to give it an appearance so that it looks beautiful and this means that we need to change the appearance into a glass material that is a see through so so easy as abc select that's why my introductory part i configure the mat material library and now as you can see it's a through see through glass but unfortunately there are this kind of circular and it is visible now i'll change the view into realistic Voila, and we have our glass here. As it is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I like this. Now, I'd like you to customize this glass and give it your color, appearance, a good ab appearance. This is how you do. Click on that icon, and a dialog box appears. Now, I will select solid glass, and here we're gonna change the appearance of this glass. What was the name we had given? Uh, okay my wine glass and uh, you can copy this go to information same title you give it it's easy, it's easy. and uh, finally here change you can customize now your material by clicking in the middle of that point uh, define the custom colors uh, those who uh, if this is your favorite you can always check it in between in between the gradient you can increase reduce and as you prefer that's it now uh, click ok let me increase a little bit click ok and apply the moment you apply the changes now you can close this one and close everything go back to the library now click and you can type letter M straight away to jump to M and search or drag down, scroll down to my wine glass and it applies the customized colors and gives you the appearance. Beautiful. Here it is. Here it is. Oh my, it's looking cool. The reflection. Now, you can change a few visual styles here by changing the light uh, if you want anything of the sort for example you can go to country uh, uh, um, let me uh, desert dawn let's let's uh, 
update the material environment as you can see voila it's cool and beautiful yeah now you can rotate it and you can see the class that you've created or we've created uh there is one more step that i want to uh, impose it or engrave it by writing on the base of this class now i'll uh, change to the previous material here we go and this is how i'm gonna do it now well i'll go back to uh, three model and i'm going to select a plane and this plane is going to be at a change to the service parallel to this so go to the browser and the original i need that base to select a plane that is parallel to that one now i'll scroll a bit a bit a bit a bit and i'll hover over this one to select these here yeah, i've got it now i'll select now the base and i'll the plane and i'll sketch i really don't want to sketch because already there this that this doing so i'm gonna project the geometry in order to get this the equal number of center lines here i'll get that one uh, this one and the interior and i'll go straight to text geometry i'll prefer that one because i want to select on the the circular feature here the moment you project the geometry you, you'll be able to guide the text i've selected the text here and i'm gonna click that one it will invoke the box for stay save and healthy uh let me increase a bit the font size to something like a let me say five and here we are now uh, uh click finish voila there it is now straight away i'm going to impose by selecting here we are selecting the text and i'll change the direction downwards uh, and say okay zero point uh, that millimeter let me say 0 0.2 millimeters and uh, whatever anchor from this face there it is now i'll deactivate the visibility of the work plane here it has been anchored it's beautiful it's beautiful well there it is now we don't want to this one to be visible so this gauge i'll have to deactivate the visibility here we are stay safe and healthy wow beautiful now this the last part i really want to introduce to you is known as ray tracing and it's under this model as you can see if you go to visual Ray tracing is there. If you click, let's see what it does. It is enabling ray tracing, and basically, this is a way of rendering to give you the beauty that it deserves. And here it's, it has started. I've used there we go, there we go, there we go. Check the way it's transforming the appearance to something else. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, look at this. Look at this beautiful transforming the glass into something else. It's given them a very beautiful appearance. Thank you. That's it. And then now you can click here and save. At least of uh, uh, JPEG or whatever format you want. You can save it as your picture for your design. Voila. Thank you. That's the end of our lesson in project of designing a wine glass hope you've enjoyed clicking on where i clicked stay safe